example six is going to be a bit different, as I've told you. Example five is just the last of its own kind. Example six is going to be based on you no know, other aspect of such questions. Find the number of minutes in the following question here. 180 seconds. 180 seconds is the same thing as 60 seconds times 3. 60 times 3 is 180. And 60 seconds is 1 minute times 3. Do you understand? 60 seconds is 1 minute times 3. 1 minute times 3, that is 3 minutes. Now the answer. For question B, we have 2 days. And we are to find our answer in minutes. Two days is two times one day. Two days is the same thing as two times one day. Two times one day is two days. Don't forget, two times one day is 24 hours. 24 hours make one day. Don't forget, two times this 24 hours is the same thing as 24 times 1 hour. 24 times 1 hour is 24 hours. And in turn, you remember, 2 times 24 is 48. And 1 hour is 60 minutes. Don't forget, 60 minutes is 1 hour. 48 times 60 minutes is what? We need to calculate now to get our answer. And how do we do that? Let's come here. 4, 8, 0. Put that 0 in front of it. Then use 6 to multiply. 6 times 0, 0. 6 times 8, 48. We write 8 down. We keep 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Plus the 4 we keep, that is 28. So we write 2, 8. So that means... We have two eight eight zero minutes. We have two thousand eight hundred and eighty minutes. That is the answer. Let's go to the example seven. Let's consider the last example on the basis of counting. Find the number of seconds in the following question here. Fifteen minutes, fifteen seconds. That will be fifteen times one minute plus. 15 seconds. 15 times 1 minute is 60 seconds. 60 seconds plus 15 seconds. So 15 times 60 seconds. Let's come here and analyze. 15 times 60. That is 15. That is 150 times 6. See that method of multiplication? 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 5 is 30. You write 0. So you, we keep 3. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus the 3 we keep, that's 9. So we write 900 seconds plus 15 seconds. 900 plus 15, that is 915 seconds. So question B, 1 and half halves is 3 over 2 hours which is written as 3 over 2 times 1 half. 3 over 2 times 1 half is 60 minutes. 60 minutes. And also, 3 over 2 times 60 minutes is the same thing as 60 times 1 minute. 60 times 1 minute is the same thing as 60 minutes. And we can write it as 3 over 2 times 60 times 1 one minute is 60 seconds. So we now have to multiply everything together because we have to get our answer in seconds. 2 in 2 is 1. 2 in 60 gives 30. I conclude it here. So we have 3 times 30 times 60 seconds. So from here now, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 6 is 54. You write the 54 down. The two zeros, put them at the back. And that is seconds. So that means we have 5,400 seconds. And that is the end 
of that. So we move now to tally system. Now we come to tally system. Tally marks are often grouped in fives. So if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in tally, tally mark one will represent one. Tally mark two, like this, will represent two. For three, one, two, three. For four, one, two, three, four. For five, it will be one, two, three, four. The fifth one will be used to cross the, the four. So this is five in tally system. Six, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six. That's tally system for you. Seven will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight will be one, two, three, four, five. C seven eight. That is tally system. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So that is one, two, three, four, five. C seven eight nine. Ten will be one, two, three, four, five. C seven eight nine ten. Do you understand? And so forth. That is tally system. Example one under tally system. Represent this. In tally system 17, 15. You have to represent these, these numbers in tally system. Question here 17 will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. For question B, 15 in tally system will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. C, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and that is that. So let's move to the next one. Now we come to Roman numerals. We've dealt with basis of counting. We've dealt with tally system. The next is Roman numerals. Roman numeral. What do we learn there? The basic symbols, basic symbol, basic symbol in Roman numerals. Basic symbols in Roman numeral. Ah, huh? if you listen carefully and you learn it from this perspective, you will never forget it. You will never forget it. Just note these basic symbols that I want to introduce to you. Number one is this I. It's number one basic symbol in Roman numeral, followed by V and also X. Also, hell. Are you following? Jot down, write it down. After this, another important symbol is C, followed by D, and finally M. Why do I say that they are basic? Well, I stands for one in Hindu Arabic. The V stands for 5 in Hindu Arabic. X stands for what? 10 in Hindu Arabic. The S stands for 50 in Hindu Arabic. C is 100 in Hindu Arabic. D is 500. And finally, among the basic ones, M is 1000. Why do I say they are the basic ones? Any other numbers in Roman numerals that you want to form? will be based on this. There are two ways of forming numbers with these basic symbols. Number one, when you make a smaller symbol to come before a bigger one, that's one pattern. Number two pattern is when you make a smaller symbol to be in front or to come after the bigger one. That's another pattern. Now let's deal with the first pattern. The first pattern is the pattern of putting a smaller symbol before a bigger one. Anytime you see it in that way, it simply means that you subtract the smaller from the bigger. Subtract the value of the smaller symbol from the bigger one and it gives you what you want. Example 1. Write the following Roman numerals 
in Hindu Arabic numerals. Question here. You can see this example one consists of all consists of a situation whereby a smaller symbol comes before bigger symbol. Just to illustrate the first pattern of forming numbers in this case. So we have IX. You can see that in the uh, basic symbols I have given to you, high is there, X is there. But in this case, high is coming before X and high is smaller. Coming before bigger one, it means you are subtracting the value of the high from the value of the X. Meaning you are subtracting one from 10. The value of X normally is 10 and the value of I is 1. Subtracting 1 from 10, it gives you 9. That is it. Question B, that is I, V. I is 1, V is 5. Subtracting 1 from 5, that gives you 4. C, that is X, L. L is 50. X is 10. Now, X is coming before. That is, the smaller is coming before the bigger. That means you are subtracting the smaller from the bigger. So, subtracting X from 50, this is 40. D is X, C. X is 10. C is 100. X is coming before C. Smaller coming before bigger, meaning you are subtracting the smaller from the bigger. So 10 from 100 gives 90. D, that is C, D. D is 500. C is 100. Now that C comes before D, smaller before bigger. Then you subtract the smaller from the bigger. Subtract 100 from 500, that gives 400. And finally, under this example, they have C hem. C is 100. Hem is 1000. Since smaller is coming before bigger, subtract that small from the big. 100 from 1000 gives 900. So, let's go to the second pattern. Example 2. Write these in Hindu Arabic. That is the following Roman numerals. We should write them in Hindu Arabic. Question here XII. This is a K. They are, this is the second case where bigger symbol comes before smaller. In that case, we had both the smaller and the bigger together. And if they are more than one or more than two, you had them together. It's only when a smaller symbol comes before bigger symbol that we subtract the smaller from the bigger. So this means the first symbol is 10 plus the next is 1 plus the next is 1 and the answer is 12. This is 12. B, X, X, V, H. Which means the X is 10 plus the next X is 10 plus the next symbol V is 5 plus the next one is 1 and the result is 26. C L X V high high high. That is the first is fifty plus ten plus five plus one plus one plus one. And that is fifty plus ten that's sixty plus five sixty five sixty six sixty seven sixty eight. That is it. Sixty eight. D now will be M D V. M there is 1000 plus D is 500 plus V which is 5 and the result is 1000 plus 500 that is 1500 plus 5 that is 1505 in Hindu Arabic and that is that. Example 3. Write the following in Roman numerals. A. 2011. B. 1820. Question here, 2011. If I were you, I would break them into 2000 plus 11, which is hem, m. 1000 is hem, another hem is 1000. That is m, m plus x, hi, which is m, m, x, hi. Do you understand? So, b, 1820 is 1000 plus 800 plus 20. The 1000 is hem plus 800 is 5 
100 plus uh, 300 plus 20 m plus the 500 is d 300 is c c c and 20 is x x so we write everything as m d c c c x x and that is that let's consider the last example under roman numerals that i have for you find the product of XC and XIX. XC is 90. According to what I have taught you at the beginning, XIX is 19. Therefore, 90 times 19 is when you see numbers like this. Once you see 0 at the back of 1, take the 0 at the back of this to the back of the other one to have 190. Take this 0 to the back of 19 to form 190. So the remaining, the 9 that you have left here, use it to multiply it. It will be easier. So you have 9 times 0, it gives you 0. 9 times 9 gives you 81. You write 1, you keep 8. 9 times 1 is 9. Plus the 8 you are keeping, that is 17. It gives you 1,710. Therefore, in Roman numerals, 1710 is equal to M D C C X. That is all.